Wiese's End. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As Christians, our lives are marked by the Trinity. The Father has created us in love. The Son came to the world to make it possible for us to recover our exalted status as children of God, which we lost because of sin. The Holy Spirit continues the work of the Son in the Church and in history until the Lord Jesus returns in glory. In thee, the mystery of the Trinity is both the origin and the final goal of our journey. Today is also Basic Ecclesial Community Sunday. As one community of believers, we are invited to live out our faith in the Holy Trinity by walking together in the spirit of synodality as disciples of Christ. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Father, 
who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The book of Proverbs describes the wisdom of God as intimately united with Him in His work of creation. Jesus, the Word made flesh, personifies this wisdom. A reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God. The Lord possessed me, the beginning of His ways, the forerunner of His prodigies of long ago. From of old, I was poured forth at the first before the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains or springs of water, before the mountains were settled into place, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet the earth and fields were not made, nor the first clods of the world. When the Lord established the heavens, I was there. When he marked out the vault over the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he fixed fast the foundations of the earth, when he set for the sea its limit, so that the waters should not transgress his command. Then was I beside him as his craftsman, and I was his delight day by day, playing before him all the while, playing on the surface of this earth, and I found delight in the human race. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Paul describes the Trinitarian gift to Christians, peace with God in Jesus Christ through the Spirit. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, 
Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith to this grace in which we stand, and we boast in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we even boast of our afflictions, knowing that affliction produces endurance, and endurance proven character, and proven character hope, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has given to us the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples i have much more to tell you but you cannot bear it now but when he comes the spirit of truth he will guide you to all truth he will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine. For this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Tayong mga katoliko ay hindi sumasamba sa mga bagay-bagay. Halimbawa, sa lakas ng kalikasan, sa araw, sa buwan, sa mga bituin, sa mga mapanilang bagyo o lindol. Hindi tayo sumasamba sa mga likha ng tao, patulad ng pera, kahit na yung pera ay makapangyarihan, halos lahat na bibili, hindi natin sinasamba yan. Ang sinasamba natin, ay ang Diyos ng pag-ibig. Yung Diyos na pinangalanan sa unang liham ni Juan. Sabi niya, ang Diyos ay pag-ibig. Iisang Diyos sapagkat isa lang ang pag-ibig. Subalit, hindi ito binibilang na parang bagay-bagay. Sapagkat pag nagbilang tayo ng mga bagay-bagay, ang pinagbibasihan natin ay yung pagkakapare-pareho. Sampung silya. Yung isang silya, kapareho lang yung ikalawang silya. Sirain mo yung silyang yan, makakakuha pa ako ng ikalawang silya na kamukhang kamuka na pwedeng ipalit sa silyang nasira. Bakit? Eh, bagay lang yan eh. 
Pero yung isang pag-ibig, eh pag-ibig ng persona. Ang mga persona ay kaisa-isa lang. Kaisa-isa lang, yun lang. Walang kopya yan, hindi mo mapapalitan. Ibang-iba sa lahat. Kaya hindi mo basta-basta lang binibilang. Kaya huwag nating gawing problema sa arithmetic yung misteryo ng Santisima Trinidad sapagat yan ay misteryo ng pag-ibig. Isang Diyos sa tatlong persona. Yung persona ng yun magkakaiba. Katulad din natin, mga persona tayo, sapagkat tayo'y kawangis ng Diyos. Kaya tayo magkakaiba. Kaya tayo may mga pangalan. Yung mga bagay-bagay, walang mga pangalan. Binibilang lang natin, isang silya, dalawang silya, tatlong silya, apat na silya, lahat silya yan. Pero, doon sa classroom na tinuturuan ko, yung mga estudyante, hindi ko lang basta-basta binibilang. Pag tinatawag ko sila, hindi ko sinasabi, oh, student 1, student 2, student 3, student 4. Bawat isa sa kanila may pangalan sapagkat magkakaiba. Kapag ka pinagpalit ko yung pangalan at sinabi ko doon sa isa, nagtataas ng kamay, yung napagkamalan ko at sinabi, hindi, hindi po ako yan. Si Juan po yan. Ako po si Pedro. Ang mga persona, hindi mo basta-basta binibilang. Hindi yan mga bagay-bagay. Kaya ganun din ang pag-ibig. Ang pag-ibig, isa lang. Pero pagkakaisa yan pagkakaisa sa mga personang nagkakaiba-iba. Ayun. Yan ang ibig sabihin ng pagkakaisa sa pag-ibig. Pagkakaisa sa pagkakaiba-iba. Don't confuse unity with uniformity. Yung uniformity, pare-pareho lang kayo. Wala kayong pinagkaiba. Para tayo mga bagay-bagay lamang, binibilang, isa, dalawa, tatlo. O, oh, ayan. Yung mga pera ninyong binibilang, magkakapareho lang yan. Pero yung mga persona at mga tao, hindi mo basta-basta binibilang lang. sapagkat bawat isa sa inyo, kayo lang, walang makikita katulad ninyo. Nung nilikha kayo ng Diyos, wala kayong kamuka. Kaya nga inaalagaan kayo. Pag nawala kayo sa mundo, walang ipapalit sa inyo. Sapagkat kaisa-isa kayo. Kapag ka kayo tinuring na bagay, eh bibilangin kayo parang silya. Kaya pag nawalang na ng pag-ibig sa inyo si Mister, lalagyan kayo ng number 2, 3, 4. Nakalimutan na na yung pinakasala niya, may pangalan at kaisa-isa lang yun. Na hindi pwedeng palitan ng number 2, 3, or 4. Ang tunay na pag-ibig, iginagalang yung pagkakaibang iyon. Yun. Kaya tingnan nyo sa Santisima Trinidad, iisang Diyos, pagkakaisa ng tatlong persona na magkakaiba-iba. Iba ang ama sa anak, ang anak iba. Iba sa Ama, ang Espiritu Santo, iba sa anak at sa Ama. Pero iisa lang. Bakit? Eh, hindi naman sila bagay eh. 
Pag-ibig sila, pagkakaisa, hindi pag-iisa. Iba yung pagkakaisa sa pag-iisa. Yung umiibig, nagkakaisa. Kahit sa pagkakaiba. Oo. Oh. Kaya kung iniibig kayong tunay nung nagmamahal sa inyo, kahit iba kayo, nagkakaisa pa rin kayo. Bakit? Eh ang turing sa inyo, hindi bagay. Hindi isang bagay lang. Ginagalang kayo bilang iba persona. O di ba masarap marinig nun sa asawa niyo? Nasasabihin sa iyo, alam mo, mahal na mahal kita. Madami kong babaeng niligawan, pero ikaw ang aking pinakasalan. Sapagkat sa lahat ng mga babaeng nakilala ko, ibang iba ka. At kayo naman sasabihan ninyo yung asawa niyong lalaki, ang dami rin nanligaw sa akin. Pero ikaw ang aking sinabihan ng oo sapagkat sa lahat ng mga lalaking nakilala ko, ibang iba ka. Ginagalang ng asawa niyo kayo. Ginagalang ang pagkababain ninyo. Iba kayo. Hindi niya hinahanap ang sarili niya sa inyo. Nagagawin niyang requirement na kailangan kayo kamukha niya para mahalin niya. Hindi. Igagalang yung pagkaiba ninyo. At kayo naman ginagalang niya yung pagkalalaki niya. At hindi niyo ginagawang requirement na yung asawa niyo ay eh kamukhang kamukha niyo sa ugali ninyo at sa lahat ng gusto. Ganon din ang pagmamahal sa anak. Ang anak ninyo galing sa inyo. Pero iba rin sa inyo yan. Hindi porkit nang galing sa inyo. Maski sa biology, nagmana nga sa inyo ng DNA na konti yan, kalahati. Pero yung kalahati, kanya. Kaya hindi rin masasabing kayong kayo. Iba rin yan. Kaya huwag niyong hanapin na kamukhang kamukha niyo yung anak niyo. Kaya pakikinggan niyo anak niyo kung anong hilig. Kung mabuti, gagabayan kita anak. Susuportahan kita. Hindi yung ipipilit nyo kung ano yung panaginip nyo sa kanya kahit wala naman kayong nakikitang pagkahilig dun sa sinasabi ninyo. Pareho lang kayong madidisappoint sa kinabukasan. Bakit? Eh hindi naman hilig ng alak nyo at wala naman sa katayuan niya na ganapin yung pangarap ninyo sapagkat siya naman hindi kayong kayo. So igalang nyo din ang kalooban ng Diyos sa mga anak ninyo. At igagalang din kayo ng mga anak ninyo. At makikinig sa inyo sapagkat alam na tunay ang pagmamahal sa inyo. Yun ang nawawala sa pag-ibig sa atin ay eh, yung galang. Walang paggalang yung ating pag-ibig. Inaari natin yung ating pagmamahal sa ating kapwa-tao na lagi nating inaakala, pagmahal natin, pag-aari na kita. Lahat ng gusto ko, gagawin mo kung mahal mo ko. Hindi yan pagmamahal, pagsakop yan. Sinasakop mo yung minamahal mo. At pinapalis mo yung kanyang katauhan, yung kanyang katayuan, yung kanyang personalidad. Alam mo, mahilig gumawa niya. 
Demonyo. Bakit kaya nga sinasapian? Nawawala yung katauhan. Nawawala yung katayuan ng tao. Sapagat yung demonyo na ang pumasok kung sa katauhan at katayuan ng tao. Kaya hindi mo na makikilala. Iba na ugali. Inaari niyang kanya. Kaya kung kayo maghahari-harian oh, sa mga minamahal niyo, baka akala niyo mabuti yung ginagawa niyo. Patakaran niya ng mga demonyo sinasapian ninyo. Nag-iiba na yung tadhana ng mga minamahal niyo. Mabuti. Kung maganda ang mangyayari sa bandang huli. Kaya igalang natin. Tingnan yung Santisima Trinidad, yung ama ginagalang yung anak, yung anak ginagalang yung ama. At ang pag-ibig nilang sa isa't isa, Espiritu Santo, paggalang ng ama sa anak at anak sa ama. Tayo ginagalang ng Diyos, tingnan nyo. Hindi niya, hindi niya tayo inuutusan at sinabi, Oh, gawin nyo ito. Sinasabi niya, Buong laya kayo, maggawin nyo ang gusto ng Diyos, pero malaya kayo. Pwede niyang, lahat tayo angkinin niya, pero hindi tayo inaangkin. Minahal tayo at kasama sa pagmamahal na yan, binigyan tayo ng kalayaan. Hoy, mga tao, kung gusto nyo akong mahalin, buong laya nyo akong mahalin. Ayan, nagpapako siya sa krus. Tingnan nyo siya. O, meron ba sa inyo? Na binabantaan niya? Pag hindi kayo sumunod, kita ninyo. Sinasabi lang ng mamang nakaba, nakabayubay sa krus. O, lahat ng bagay, pagpapakasakit, ginawa ko sa inyo. Mamahalin niyo ba ako? Ayun ang tanong. Buong laya, ginagalang tayo. Anong sagot ninyo? Anong sagot ko? Ayun. Ginagalang tayo ng Diyos. Kaya galangin naman natin ang Diyos. Paano natin gagalangin ang Diyos? Galangin niyo yung mga taong minamahal niyo. Huwag niyong palitan ng Diyos sa buhay nila. Magulang lang kayo, hindi kayo Diyos ng mga anak ninyo. Asawa lang kayo, hindi kayo Diyos ng asawa niyo. Pari lang ako, hindi ako Diyos ninyo. Kaya maggalangan tayo. Huwag tayo maghari-harian sa isa't isa. Sa paggalang na yan, lahat tayo lalaki. Makakahinga ng maluwag. Bakit? Sapagkat malaya tayong iibig sa isa't isa. At yan ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hindi nang aalipin. Kung hindi, nagpapalaya. Kaya tanungin natin ang ating mga sarili. Yung bang pag-ibig natin ay nagpapalaya o nang aalipin sa mga taong sinasabi natin mahal natin. O let us all stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. Confident in your love for us all in Christ, we implore you, Father, to help us be sensitive to the movements of your Spirit in and among us. Full of trust, we pray. God, one and triune, be with us. God, one and triune, be with us. In the spirit of our communion, May our church leaders become faithful exemplars and mirrors of her love and glory to delay faithful and all people of goodwill. We pray. God, God one and child, be with us. Inspired by your eternal love, may our national and local leaders and we, the citizen citizenry, vigorously preserve and promote the dignity of every human being in all levels of our society, we pray. God, one and child, be with us. Following the example of your loving and divided union, may all families foster loving and long-lasting relationships in, with, and among each other. May husbands and wives, parents and children be moved to love unconditionally, we pray. God, one and child, be with us. May basic ecclesial communities strive to work with greater harmony and peace among members of the church amidst their limitations and littleness. We pray. God, one and child, be with us. May all of us gathered here share Christ's glory together with your Holy Spirit through our care for one another. We pray, God, one and Trion, be with us. As they enter their eternal home with you, welcome our departed loved ones to your kingdom. We pray, God, one and Trion, be with us. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community, for the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and our personal intentions. We pray. God, God one and Trion, be with us. us. Loving Father, you have loved us even before time began through your word and your life-giving spirit. Continue to lead us back to your loving arms by stirring in us the spirit of love and truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to its person, their unity in substance, and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they acclaim. of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may grace and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you.
is near. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving the sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal Holy Trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalot ng kiisa sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy niyo po ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilikod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayo na pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga minamahal sa buhay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. The Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you and in his kindness pour out upon you the gifts of his blessing amen may the god keep you hearts attentive to his words that they may be filled with everlasting gladness amen and so may you always understand what is good and right and be found ever hastening along in the path of god's commands may coerce with the citizens of heaven amen may the blessing of almighty god the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down to you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please let us pray for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty turned with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, 
Amen.